If you create a lot of video like I do, or even if you just like to listen to a lot of music, it's important to have a good set of speakers amongst your technical gear. Unfortunately, mine recently died and I had to go looking for a replacement set, and I didn't want to break the bank. After some research, I ordered this set of Edifier R1700BT speakers. Now, it's a bookshelf set of speakers, so they're great for computer use, but they're also really good for other audio purposes. You could hook these up to your record player if you want to. In this video, we're going to get into the box and see what's inside. We'll let you have a listen, and if you're in the market for new speakers, well, maybe this will help with your decision. Stay tuned. The first thing I noticed about these speakers is that, well, the box is quite heavy. It's probably 15 or 20 pounds. So you'll want to be mindful of that when you're thinking about where you're going to place the speakers. You're going to need something that's going to support their weight. This is a powered speaker set, so wherever you place them, you're going to want to have an electrical outlet nearby. These speakers are made to look good and maybe blend in with your furniture a little bit. They come in either a brown or a black wooden style finish. I've ordered the brown color. If you're not familiar with the Edifier brand name, I don't blame you, they're not as well known as some of the big electronics brands in North America. But they've actually been around since the mid-1970s. They started out as a Canadian company back then, and they've made some pretty good quality products over the years. Let's open the box. So it's well packed, as it should be to prevent damage in shipping. Right on top we've got the manual, and we'll set that aside to have a look at in a little bit. So we have a small Bluetooth remote control, which I think is great for convenience. And we have some RCA cables, which if you've ever connected stereo speakers before, you know what these are all about. One is the left channel, one is the right channel. And this set here, this is the same as what's on your headphones. So you can plug this into a headphone jack on your phone or on your computer, and that's what will bring the audio to the speakers. So there's one other cable in the box, and that's this one that actually connects your two speakers together. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of cable here, which allows you to spread your two speakers farther apart. And that can actually do wonders for your sound quality. The farther apart your speakers are, the more the sound can fill the space. So as you can see, this is a pretty good looking set of speakers. This is the right speaker, and it has the control knobs on it. There's one for treble, bass, and volume control. The right speaker is also where all of the connections are. So there's a power cord that is a fairly generous length. There's an on-off power switch, and there are a couple of RCA inputs. Now, one of them is actually labeled PC in, so in my case, I'm going to connect to my computer, and that's the input I'll use. But this one is an auxiliary input, so you could actually connect something else if you want to as well. Keep in mind, these are Bluetooth speakers, so you may not need any connecting cables whatsoever. This left speaker out portal is where that long cable goes that I showed earlier that actually connects the right speaker to the left speaker. I've removed the front cover from the left speaker so we can see what's inside. And as you can see, there's a small 19 millimeter eagle eye tweeter and a four inch subwoofer. Now there are 66 watts of power in these speakers in total. But what's more impressive to me is the frequency range. So the range is actually 52 hertz on the low end, the bass end, and 20 kilohertz on the high end or the treble end. For a small set of speakers like this, that's actually very impressive, particularly given their price point. If you're wondering whether these will fit in the space you have available, well, they're 10 inches high and they're 6 inches across and about 6 inches deep as well. So if you're setting up on a desk someplace, well, it might be a little bit tight if you've got a lot of other things there, especially with a computer setup. But 
really for what's packed into this little speaker set, they're quite reasonably sized. Only one thing left to do now, that's to set them up and test them. Wow, that is impressive sound for a speaker set that generally retails for less than $200. If you're interested in this Edifier R1700BT speaker set, I'll put a link to them in the description below. If you like this video, I invite you to subscribe to this channel. I'll have much more valuable information for you on video for business very soon. All the best.